Hey guys, Marcus here from Bike Tech. So on my previous video, we have already teached you how to install the front part of your bicycle. Click on the link on the top right corner if you want to learn more about that. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to install the disc brake on your bicycle. The bicycle that we are using today is the Gamex GM200 VC from Asogo.com. I'll link that to the description below if you would like to check out this bicycle. So again, before we start, let's identify the parts we are installing. We have got a brake cable here, a disc rotor, and a disc brake caliper mount. Tools you will be needing for this installation process includes a size 4 and 5 allen key and a cable cutter. You may need other tools if the disc brake that you are installing is not the same with the one shown in the video. First, we will be installing the disc rotor onto the wheel. You will find the bolts that we are going to use to secure the disc rotor has already been screwed onto the hub. So all we have to do now is to unscrew all six of them by using a size 4 allen key. Then we will put on the disc rotor. The side with arrows or words is the side that you should face it up when you place the rotor on the hub. Then using your hand, Place all 6 bolts that you unscrewed just now back to the hub. After you have placed all the bolts back to the hub, we will need to secure the rotor using a size 4 allen key. Because there is a total of 6 bolts to secure, what I recommend is to secure that in a star shape so that you get an even force on every side every time you secure it. So once you have got the rotor secured, we will move on to the caliper mount. On the caliper mount, you will see two bolts with washers on it. Unscrew that using a size 5 allen key as we will be using it to secure the mount onto the fork. The caliper mount should be on the inner side of the fork. Once we have placed the caliper mount properly, we can then secure that using the two bolts. Remove the plastic that was on the fork. Put on the front wheel with the quick release excel that came with the box. Click on the suggestion link on the upper right corner if you would like to know how to install the front wheel. Now, we will connect the brake lever and caliper mount using the brake cable that was provided. On the brake lever, you will find the barrel adjuster. Align the slot from the barrel adjuster to the brake lever. Slightly pull the brake cable up from the housing. Insert the brake cable head into the lever. After that, turn the barrel adjuster clockwise all the way so that the barrel slot locks the cable. Slot the brake cable together with the housing into the slot on the fork. Then, slot it into the barrel adjuster on the caliper mount. And finally, into the cable anchor bolt. Before you tighten the anchor bolt, Turn the barrel adjuster on the caliper mount clockwise all the way and turn one full anti-clockwise turn after. 
Then, tighten the anchor bolt by using a size 5 Allen key. It is recommended that you pull the cable with one hand when you are tightening the bolts to prevent any excess cable in between. Leave around 2 to 4 cm of the excess cable after the anchor bolt and cut off the rest of it by using a cable cutter. Then, use the cable tip that you found inside the box and clip it up. You may find that the caliper mount is still moving around even after you have tightened it to the fork. That is because the two caliper bolts are still loose. To get it tightened, you will need to make sure that the rotor sits in the center of the caliper. Then gently secure the two bolts using a size 5 allen key. Be careful not to move it while you are tightening it as the part comes with an adjustable washer. If you find that the brake is too loose after you have secured the anchor bolt, another method where you can try out is to use the size 5 allen key to tighten the inboard pad or you can call it as static caliper. Test the brake after you have tightened it. So, there you have it, a guide on how to install the mechanical disc brake for your bicycle. I'll link a video on the upper right corner to guide you further on how to fine tune your mechanical disc brake when I'm done shooting it. Be sure to check out on my other video to learn more about the bicycle related stuff too. Thank you so much for watching, leave a thumbs up to this video if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Peace!